have productive practices where you continue to push each other throughout the season. But most importantly, the season, the wear and tear as a result of 82 games, having a bench can help you win games and save you and only enhance your efforts and your performance throughout the season. So uh, teams that have depth have a chance for great success. Here's the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Middleton is the three with Giannis playing the four. Drew Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Lopez in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Los Angeles, we've got Kyle Kuzma. Contavious Caldwell Pope out there with Dennis Schroeder. Then it's Andre Drummond. And it's Horton Tucker in at the three. Now here's Middleton. There's the drive. Rebounded by Kuzma. I mean, assertive, aggressive, relentless, hardworking. It's just a dog in offensive rebound. Here's Holiday. Middleton outside to the left wing. Here's Anadokounmpo. Oh, my! Throw it down! And when the Greek freak takes flight, I mean, he's looking to tear that rim apart. So ferocious. Out of bounds, he will go to the Bucks. All right, a guy like Caldwell Pope, it seems the less you ask him to do, the more he delivers. So true. I mean, when he doesn't have to carry an offensive load, he's a much more efficient player. He's that wild card factor for this team. He's learning what his limits are and how to play to his strengths. Now here's Middleton. Outside Holiday, Lopez, the screen on Schroeder, five to shoot, Middleton from the outside, that one falls, nice feed that time from Holiday. Middleton really is an amazing shooter, absolutely amazing, especially for long distance. Outside Schroeder. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Outside, DiVincenzo. Here's Lopez. Well, quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Over Kuzma. Rebound by the Lakers. Drummond's got four rebounds now. Caldwell Pope. Kuzma with the ball. Down Drummond. Left side shooter. Oh, that's the alley! And Drummond with the jam! And I like the timing that Drummond has with all these alley-oops. That's not as easy as he makes it look. He knows precisely 
Brett went to leave the ground to receive the pass and finish it off. Now here's Lopez. Coming in off 12 points in his last outing. Screen by Alta Kubo. Here's Devin Oh, a special move before that shot. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Pass to Caldwell Pope. 13 feet out. Some solid defense from Holiday. That's a decent look for him. He just couldn't convert. Middleton outside. Here's Ana de Kumpo. Defended by Kuzma. Holiday from long range. The shot off that time. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. And here's Schroeder outside. This is another. Just one of four from the floor. He's certainly been cold this quarter, guys, but trying to shoot his way back into a group. Outside, DiVincenzo. Outside, Holiday. Lopez, the screen on Schroeder. And good, as it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. A crafty ball handler that knows how to get defenders off balance. Holiday gives life to his team's offensive output. The Lakers call timeout. Nothing more exciting than opening day in the NBA. Grant, how pumped are these players? These players are super pumped. All the hard work in the offseason. Working on the better. You have a chance to show it right now, opening day. Uh, of course, it's a long season, but the journey begins now. And the Lakers going with a whole new group out there. Here's Caruso. selection coming into this. Milwaukee has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Tucker with a screen, and he drives in. Rivers shot is off. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 4 from deep to start this one. That's to Harold. And here is Morris. Here's Caruso. Rivers. Pass to Connaughton. Banked it in off the glass. And put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Now here is Harold. In the game against Cleveland, very impressive. Matthews for three. Forbes with the rebound. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. They look strong here in the early going. The Lakers trail. Here's Caruso. Three pointer off the mark. Shooting just 38% so far in this one. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Back to Portis. Pass to Connaughton. Now here's Portis. Just five on the clock. To the inside. Pulls out. High post. Tucker, no good. Here's Caruso. hard at all aspects of this game. That's the end of the first quarter. And not much scoring. It remains close. The Bucks on top, leading by a point. And the second quarter is on its way when we... And earlier, we checked in with Giannis Antetokounmpo. He had this to say about losing to the Raptors back in 2019. You gotta finish the job. You got to get it done. But I'm just, you know. All part of the process of achieving greatness. Yeah, most guys have had to go through it. MJ, LeBron, leading a team to a championship. Where it happens early on in your career. 
man, this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. And for the Bucks guys, what jumps out to you? That one. Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. Taking a look at the Bucks. The star front court. Middleton and Giannis in it forward. Austin Rivers out there with Drew Holiday. And it's Portis in at the center position. Holiday passes to Anadokounmpo. Now Holiday. Here's Rivers. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And it's Harrell with a rebound. Well, the Lakers shooting poorly at only 28%. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Pass to Drummond. And here is Harold. The Lakers got to get one off. Late clock. And Caldwell Pope gets it to go. I think Caldwell Pope has done a nice job developing into a sick deep ball threat.
last touch around the basket. The Bucks have gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Here's Forbes. But no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Now here's Schroeder. Pass to Horton Tucker. There's the screen. Fires for three. Rebounded by Lopez. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Here's Forbes. Tucker up top. Six to shoot. Here's DiVincenzo. Rebound by the Lakers. So what appeared to be an easy two points just never materialized. Here's Morris. Nice assist and nice minute. Solid play all the way around. Now it's a four-point Laker lead. The Bucks shooting just around 33% since the second quarter got on the way. That's the Tucker. 157 left to play in the first half. Los Angeles has gone just one of four from downtown so far in the second. Here's Horton Tucker. 15 in his last out. Schroeder. Forbes with the rebound. Aggressive mindset, but the defender just as determined to send him away empty-handed. Hits a three-pointer. Well, you look at Forbes, and he's got great form, whether it's 25 feet away, 30 feet away, wherever. I mean, he can spray you from anywhere in the building. There's a screen. Schroeder into the lane. Gets it to go. His second make in six tries. This defense is getting manhandled down low. You have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Here's Forbes. Right to the middle. 11 feet out. Off the left rim and out. The Lakers in the lead. Outside shooter. There's 42 seconds left in the first half of this game. Down low. Here's Lopez. And he buries his first look. And amidst the tall timber, he's right at home. Extremely comfortable. Lopez getting it done. Schroeder passes to Morris. Pass to Matthews. Shoots over DiVincenzo. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Well, the Bucks shooting just 37% in the game. Here's Lopez. Oh, no good. Got a chance to take the lead. Out to the right wing. Here's Matthews. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's on Dante DiVincenzo. Boy, Wesley Matthews brings a ton of energy, and I love that. Solid at putting the defense in a pickle and then forcing the contact to draw the foul. So it comes up empty at the line. Guys, Wesley Matthews is a pure shooter. A long-range bomber who also plays lockdown defense on the perimeter. That's a heck of a combination. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Lakers ahead, up by one. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. A competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. Some good action during the period, as it was just a one-point game at the end of one. Just in terms of the second quarter, they were the better team, but there wasn't a big difference between them. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. The rebounding margin says a lot about this game. They've been the better team in that department so far, no doubt. Now, I love the aggressive attitude that they came out with tonight, Ernie, and that's the difference, and they're not going to get outworked. And now, Shaq, let's get your opinion on Milwaukee. Their shooting rhythm was off, under 40%. Some of that was shot selection. Some of that was My guess is we'll see some significant changes as things get 
get going in the second half. Increasing all the And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. offensively in the first half. Waited until he got the looks he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. We've got Contavious Caldwell-Pope. Andre Drummond is out there with Kyle Kuzma. Then it's Dennis Schroeder, and it's Horton Tucker in at the three. That's the Laker five. Grant, you led the league in all-star voting as a rookie. Last year, Luka Doncic did it as a second-year player. How rare is it player like that, that early in his career makes such a big Without a doubt, the uh, it is incredibly rare for a player to come in and have that kind of impact, not just in terms of their production on the floor leading uh, their team, but also the popularity and really connecting and resonating with fans all over the world. Certainly, Dodgers has done that, and he's a remarkable player. The sky is the limit for him, and I know they're very excited in Dallas. Kupo's got 14 points for the game. Well, I love how fast Akukupo gets to the basket. One of the most mobile guys in the game. Holiday against Schroeder. It's called well Pope. And there's a three-second violation. Boy, in a game this slow, you can never afford to commit those kinds of turnovers. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. Impressive. I mean, you can see the mindset he has. When the game is this close, he really brings it at that end of the floor. Milwaukee in the lead. Outside Holiday. Back to Ana Kumpo. That one falls. Eight of ten and scoring with confidence. And I say, hey, if it keeps working, go to it. Stay with it. And until the defense responds and provides more resistance, Keep making them pay. The Lakers call timeout. Well, you know, what do you get when you take the league's most athletically gifted player and combine that with an insatiable appetite to improve? Want the answer? It's Giannis on Distraction, stay focused, and this man is clearly on a mission. And the Lakers making a change here. Caruso has checked in, and Milwaukee with a change here, too. Portis has checked in. He hits the second from the line. Here's Caldwell Pope. Five points in the game. That's the drum. Here on the second half. Now here's Kuzma. Shot clock at five. Out to the right wing. Here's Caruso. And again, the Lakers, no good. The Bucks have gone four to four in this third quarter. Perfect so far. Floats run. Middleton from the outside. Milwaukee, no good that time either. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. Yeah, tip for tap on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. Drives to the hoop. Pass to Kuzma. Shoots over the quarter. Goes back up. Here's Drummond. Great D that time from out of the 
Antetokounmpo. The Bucks shooting only 42%. Middleton outside. Here is DiVincenzo. Back to Middleton. DiVincenzo on the wing. Off the mark there with a three. For Los Angeles, they've gone two of five in this third quarter. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Here's Caldwell Pope. Five points in the game. To the paint. And the jam by Drummond. Yeah, first and foremost, he's a pass first team player. It's Caldwell Pope. We love saying that. Pass to Middleton. Outside, DiVincenzo. Middleton, left side. Rebound, the Lakers. Drummond's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Here's Caldwell Pope. Drummond, screen on DiVincenzo. Pass to Drummond. Here's Caruso. He's coming on holiday. Caruso misses. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 2 from outside here on the third. Here's Holiday. Takes it inside. Ooh, ripped away. Here's Caruso. He's covered by Holiday. That ties the game. Kuzma's got his first bucket in this one. You know, once Kuzma has the position he wants inside, he does his thing fearlessly. Holiday passes to Portis. Outside, DiVincenzo over to the left wing. Pass to Portis. For Drummond, drilled from 11 feet out. We see this every night. He has the skill and versatility to keep a defense guessing. Kuzma outside. Drummond passes to Kuzma. Arnakupo with the block. Outside Holiday. Arnakupo outside. Rebound, the Lakers. Drummond's got rebound number 11. Pass to Caruso. Kuzma with the ball. Here's Drummond. Give him eight points now. Drummond is straight on DiVincenzo. A rough game for him scoring the ball. Just can't seem to get it going. And here's Drummond, defended by Portis. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Tries to break his ice. Not going to go that time. The Bucks have gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Holiday from long range. They get it back. Oh, and Giannis hammers it in. Hey, I've always said rebounding is timely and correct. But if you got long arms, time that's out, what you do. And free, free. There's plenty of reach. Now a timeout called by the Lakers. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. The Bucks going with a whole new group out there. Pass to McKinney. Outside shooter. Hey, Tucker with the defensive effort. It does not get much easier than that, but somehow he came up empty there. Donatan. No good on the triple. The Lakers trail. Milwaukee, they've gotten six of their first 12 shots to drop in this third. 26 seconds left to play in the third. Here's Rivers. And he banks in the layup. And it's a 
a six point Bucks lead. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. Outside shooter. Quarter gets underway. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Tasty room service down right there, boy. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Taking a look at the Bucks. We've got Brent Forbes. Pat Connaughton is out there with DJ Tucker. There's Austin Rivers. Lopez in at the center position. That shot wide open. That's a clutch shot by a big time shooter. And where's the D? Pass to Rivers. No luck on that one. And it's the Lakers the other way. Schroeder with it. Tried to shoot his way out of this funk, but later in the game now, he might want to just give it up and look for his teammates to do the score. Connaughton can't hit. Los Angeles shooting just 33% so far in this game. Outside shooter. Yeah, you know, guys, this has been far from his best game. A disappointing outing for both him and the team. To the middle. Lopez in the post. Shot clock at six. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line from there. And he makes it first. And some changes here for the Bucks. Giannis Antetokounmpo is checked in for Tucker. Chris Middleton comes in for Connaughton. And Drew Holiday is subbed in for Forbes. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line.
Here's Caldwell Pope. Drummond inside. Working on Lopez. And they pick up two. You've got to be aware of him at all times. He's a bully on the backboard. The Bucs have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Pass to Lopez. Back to Arnacuto. Outside Holiday. Down to five on the shot clock. Rebound by the Lakers. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. That time from Middleton. Milwaukee in the lead. Holiday from long range. Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class heating. It's really surprising that they're up at this point given that he's struggled so mightily. Shot's good. Shooter. Well, the first half is one to deep six or forget. But in the second half, he's looked a lot better. Pass to Rivers. shot out there. It's really a level of offensive consistency most players can only dream of. DiVincenzo, he's checked in for the Bucks. Middleton outside. Back to Holiday. Yeah. Just five to shoot. Here's Middleton.
this one. All right, guys, what's your take? This comes down to whether they want to go for a three to win or send it to overtime with the two. Either way, it's got to happen on this end of the pass. Here's DiVincenzo. to seal it. And so many times we see these close games won by the home team. And that'll do it, folks. For Grant Hill, Clark Kellogg, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching. So long, everybody.